are you most excited about? There's some pretty awesome performers tonight. Katy Perry, Gaga. Which team are you on? I don't want to pick sides. Why not? Because they're both amazing artists. But, however, I'm a big Katy Perry fan. I mean, I always have been since she's first started. Um, and we actually got to give her a Kids' Choice Award this last year. No way! The, yeah, her category we presented. And uh, we gave her a blimp. It's whatever. <laughs> whatever. What do you think about the whole uh, One Direction huge movie coming out tomorrow? Actually, well, the premiere is tomorrow. It comes out later this week. I'll be there. Will you? Yeah, actually, Niall invited me to go, and so... That's casual. Niall invited me. Whatever. It's what happened. I don't know. I like that. I like that a lot. He's a really cool kid, and the, the whole band is really awesome, and um, I'm happy that he would even want me to be there. So. Of course he wants you to be there. And I'll be there. Bring us up to speed. What's going on with you? We're planning our next touring schedule, Big Time Rush. And in the meantime, I'm writing for my project, Heffron Drive, uh, whenever I have time. And then- Probably never, right? Never. This actually might have been a writing day, but here I am. Um, and after that, we're working on the next Big Time Rush album, whatever we're gonna do. I think it might be acoustic, I don't know. Oh, I love that! So like a little bit of a different sound? I would too. Any collaborations that maybe are in the works? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I, I might actually get the chance to tell Justin Timberlake that we would love to work with him. Will you please tell him? I'd love to. We mentioned least Joey Fatone. Well, Joey knows. Joey knows, and so does Chris, and so does JC. But we haven't gotten a chance to tell Justin yet, so. Oh, headlining tour, big time rush and sync. That would be crazy. Casual. Very full circle. I like it, I like it. All right, since I have you, I have to ask. It seems like grills are making a comeback. Are you into it? Grills, like gold on the teeth, diamond, I'm jewel. I'm sure it's very hygienic. Who's performing? Is that Austin? Austin Mahal. Oh, we just talked to his. He starred on our TV show. Awesome, good to see him. Talk about full circle. Austin! I think he sees me. Jump a little higher. He's pointing at me, I swear. He sounds really good. He looks good though. Looks good up there. Let's bring it back. I think he saw me. You, en <laughs> you enjoy the show. Please rush the stage to ask Justin if he can co-collab with you. If anybody security guards try to stop me, I'm just gonna take him out and then I'm gonna talk to him. Your own Kanye moment. Yeah. <laughs> argue, and it's not much of an argument, that Kendall is the best name that there is. Okay. Love it, love it. Now, is this your first time at the VMA? I believe so. I get confused because I went to the, the, the movie awards, MTV movie awards. I think this is our first VMA appearance, and uh, I, wish, I wish I had my guys, but either way, it's going to be fun. It's just a good night, and we're in Brooklyn, it's New York, come on. What's your all-time favorite VMA memory ever? Um, watching and everything. I remember a couple of Britney performances that were pretty incredible. Okay. Anyone in particular? About the snake. Oh, yeah. the you know what I'm talking about. All right. A lot of great in general though. Yeah, of course. A lot of songs came out this summer between Robin Thicke, JT, Britney even. What's your favorite song of summer 2013? Um, I really like Blurred Lines, but I got I mean I got to shout out to my friend Zed, Clarity. That is just a beautiful song. It's an unbelievable song. And the acoustic version of it is even more beautiful. Yes, of course. I mean, every a lot of people have said that, love that. Unbelievable. Now, overall in general, what song reminds you of summer? Like, what song do you put on when you just want to get pumped up for summer? Beach Boys. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, Brady. And any Bob Marley song. Okay. If you go to any vacation place, Everybody knows that Bob Marley is like the song to play or the, the guy to play. 
I just went on a cruise. I have never heard so much Bob Marley in my life, and I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Now, one last serious question, okay? Can you teach everybody at Spin Media how to take a selfie? Watch this. Here's the first step. Okay. I want, I want to show you this. How do you turn your phone? Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So, people always go and they try to type in the password. Yeah. Don't do that. Just do that. Oh. Right? And then, right here. And you have to hold it with this bottom pinky. Yes. Selfie. 101 right there. Love it. Love I, have to, I have to teach a lot of mothers who don't know how to take photos how to do that. I love that. Now, can you give one big shout out to everybody at Spin Media? What's up, Spin Media? You guys have always supported us so much. We know that. I know that. And uh, we're willing to come and talk to you guys whenever you want because we love you. So thank you. So lots going on in the big time rush. Uh, in the world, the fit family. World. Yeah, yeah. Tell, so tell us, so you're kind of a crossroads, right? Like the show, had the the, pla the tent pole shows kind of come to an end. Figure yeah, out the next know, steps. What's really interesting is that uh, when when we kind of got the word that like it's not official, but we're doing something. That's why they don't ever want to make it official because we're gonna make some sort of appearance on Nick. Still, we're, I mean, it's a huge brand for Nickelodeon. It's the most successful music brand that they've ever had. Period. So like. They want to do something. We're just trying to figure out what that is, and also where we've scoured the United States on tour. We've toured everywhere you can tour in the United States, so we're gonna cover the places we haven't been. We just did two shows in Mexico that were collectively 30,000 people. Our headlining shows, and that was, I mean, a, a, an unreal experience. So we're gonna go back to South America because we know they have a lot of love for Big Time Rush. Um, and now the TV show's gone. We're just trying to figure out what the music side of it is, and I think. Sony and Columbia want to keep it together as a music brand and maybe do something like I was saying, like acoustic or something like that. You have your own project in the works as well? Heffron Drive. It actually was right when Heffron Drive... Alright, so remember when MySpace was like, people were signing bands off of MySpace like all the time? We were making Heffron Drive music and it was really like starting to get like 10,000 plays a day. And right at that point, I booked Big Time Rush and it was like, just had to stop because I had to focus full attention. So now I actually get to go and like, it's like, you know, dive into that world again and writing for it. It's not like crazy, drastically different musically, but it's definitely more electro uh, alt than Big Time Rushes. It's more of a pop band, you know? So I get to kind of dive into worlds that I adore. Like I love EDM and I would love to even do a feature on like, Zed or a Skrillex song, like I really would love to lend my voice to that. So big night with NSYNC uh, reuniting tonight. What, what what's their uh, place in your heart? Uh, well, honestly, actually, Chris is a really good friend of ours, and and Joey came to our show in St. Augustine recently. His his kids are really big fans of our band, which is really weird, right? Right? I mean, like I see him and I go like, oh man, like I idolized you, and then now his kids idolize us and so it was really a sort of small world situation but I, I'm actually I want to see him tonight I'd like to say hi and uh, I think I'm gonna text Chris and hopefully you know we'll get to contact you know tonight